Hey guys and welcome back. Now I haven't recorded The Sims in quite a while, however there has been a new expansion released a couple of days ago called Get Together and it basically introduced this entire new area called Windenburg. So what I've done is I've moved out of, where was I before? Newcrest, okay, I've moved out of Newcrest from that awful house. Now that house I spent a long time on that house, okay, and to me, at the time, it was amazing. However, I saw some of your houses, and I saw some houses on the gallery, and what I have done is, I have created a new house off-screen, because I thought you guys wouldn't want to see that, and I'm going to show you it already built, okay? Now, I've put a lot of heart and, like, I've put hours into this house, okay, so hopefully you guys like it. Um, now, there's a lot to explore in Windenburg. There's a lot of places to visit, like these ruins, uh, this weird house estate up here, and we can create our own club. Okay, so let's go into our house. And now, I've moved them in, but they actually haven't done anything yet. I've just been in build mode, and because I had lots of money, I could literally just build whatever I wanted. I haven't cheated. It was all legit money, because selling the previous house gave me loads of money. I think Danny actually just completed an aspiration. Have a home worth. Yeah, so he's now a mansion baron. So we've got to select a new uh, aspiration. Okay, guys. Okay. So, Windenburg, if you didn't know, this new update, Get Together, it adds crap tons of items. And I'm just going to show you. Let's go into build mode. I'm like a Sims pro now, by the way. Well, maybe not. Um... But if we go to show all, and then we go to um, packs, and to get together, these are all the new items that this update adds, okay? And that's just items that you put in your house. If you go to like, um, wallpaper and floors and things like that, it adds tons of new stuff as well. So if we go back to live mode, okay. So this is my new house, and this is it from the outside okay i'm grinning because i'm extremely happy with what i've created oh there is also a, a little roof there as well so i wasn't like a retard who left the roof off so this is my house and as you can see it's a, a kind of like oldie fashioned mansion type house. We've got a beautiful little fountain here, which I haven't actually seen shoot yet. Um, and what I did was I created a garage as well. So all these all these new textures and stuff, that comes in the new Get Together expansion. Uh, and it was 20, well, it was 18 pounds on CD keys. And I'm not like, I'm not endorsed by CD keys. It's just where I get everything because it was like 12 pound cheaper. Uh, and what I did was I got these cars that I made this look like a garage door look. I put some windows in there. Can you see the wind? I'm, I'm bending down. I'm bending down because if we, if we head down, as, as you see, I put some windows in there. So it looks like a garage door. Hey. <laughs> and I made these cars bigger by using the shift bracket. Um, so if we put this back up again. Now, this is... I'm, I, I'm, I can't speak because I'm just so excited to show you this house. I put so much work into this. Okay. So, let's start off with the coolest thing about my house. Okay. The coolest thing about my house is the basement. This is going to be the party area, okay? We're going to have a little toilet here, and we can extend it if we need to, but we're going to have a toilet there. Maybe we could have a men's toilet, a girl's toilet. Uh, we're going to have, like, uh, disco decks down here because there's, like, a DJ thing now with the new update. And what I did was I made the pool have windows so when people are swimming, they can see the people in the party room, okay? Now, you guys are probably like, ah, oh, daddy. That, that's nothing special. That's not cool. To me, okay, that is pretty cool. I think that's pretty extreme. So this is the little party area down here. And you get to it by going down from the outside. Because um, I was thinking about having the stairs inside the house. But I don't I don't know. In the end, so, uh, in the end I had it on the outside. Because the inside, I, I made this house smaller than all the other houses before. I wanted the rooms to be kind of... A little bit more cozy because 
Beforehand, I built houses where the rooms were too big and then there wasn't enough to fill them up. So I made this, this house more cosy. Whether or not that will bite me in the buttocks, we'll soon find out. Uh, so we've got the barbecue area here. We've got the cool little um, hot tub thing. And out here, I just made this little house um, just to kind of have maybe chairs in there, maybe like dining area. So people can eat and just kind of sit in there. It's open plan with the open windows at the front. But it's kind of cozy enough that it's kind of protected from the wind. We've also got the diving board, which was added in the new update. The garage, oops, the garage is kind of empty at the moment. I've still got to fill that, but I have actually filled the house. Okay, so let's head into the house. Let's put it in this mode. So we got the hallway. Um, so the first thing you've got is the stairs as you come in, centered. We got this cool little bathroom here. I put a shower in there just for uh, giggles because um, you never know because we got like six people living here. Uh, that's part of the reason why I moved actually because that other guy died. I can't actually remember his name. If you didn't see the last episode, a guy drowned in our pool. So we moved house. It's the thing that you do. Okay, if someone dies in your house, you have to move because otherwise it's ghosts. Um, okay, so this is the kitchen. Now, I put a lot of effort into the kitchen. So as you can see, I've got like cupboards. Can you see that? I've got cupboards on the walls. Uh, so I changed the cupboards. And this is actually something I want to show you because you guys probably know about this. Okay, you guys probably do know about this, but I didn't. So this is why I want to show you, just in case you guys don't as well. If you get a cupboard, okay, you can get a cupboard. But if you go to the change color thing, you can actually select different cupboards. So you can have big ones, you can have ones with windows, and uh, it's, it's just pretty cool. So, and you can have corner ones as well, outside corner ones, you see like that. I didn't actually know about that, so I thought I'd just quickly show you that, just in case you didn't know. Uh, because I like being an idol, because I don't actually usually know that much. So when I do, uh, I like to tell people. Um, no, but this is my kitchen. I made it kind of cozy. We've got some uh, little stools here to eat their breakfast. There was actually three stools, but apparently there's only two right now. It appears someone's stolen one. Uh, now, the dining room, I wanted a cozy dining room. However, when I was building the house, I thought, yeah, that should be big enough for a dining room. Then when I put the table in there, the table and chairs were pretty big <laughs> and the room was a little bit too small. So I couldn't actually put any like bookshelves or anything in there. It's literally just a table and I've got an open plan door, same same there and a cool little archway there. This is the uh, living room. So I wanted this to be kind of cozy. We got the cool uh, kind of like pokey out window thing. I know there's proper words for these things, but... I don't know them. So we got the proper good couches. Now, these couches have the biggest comfort. That's why I used them. And I kind of designed the room to look kind of mansion-y. But I didn't want the entire house to look really old and kind of... By the way, in the next episode, we'll look at the get to work stuff. Okay? Not get to work. Get together. Get together, okay? I just want to show you this house because... Um, what I'll probably do is I'll probably add this house to the gallery... And then you guys can download it and maybe make some changes to it. Maybe change it, build it up a little bit, change the rooms, move your sims in. And then on our website and stuff, you, you can upload your version to the gallery using Inferno Dan. It will explain. You guys know what I mean. Uh, so this is the living room. I'll move on because I feel like I'm blabbering, but I'm just so happy about this house. This is the gym, okay? So you come down here, there's like a long corridor, okay? Now you might be wondering, Danny, why is there two staircases? Well, I'll explain soon. Uh, cliffhanger. Mid-episode cliffhanger. Uh, so this is the gym. Now this is actually, I intended it to be two rooms at first, but then when I realized I didn't need two rooms, I made it one. So... It's quite spacious, quite big. This is actually the biggest room in the house, surprisingly. Uh, the gym. Which will probably never get used. Just like in real life. Okay, so this is the downstairs, okay? We've got the pond out here, put some trees. We've got a nice little wall and shiz like that. Okay, upstairs. So, 
The house is split in two, okay? The adults and the children. Well, they're kind of teenagers right now because we grew them up in the last episode and they had a birthday party. Okay, so this staircase comes up here. We've got a, a bathroom. Pretty, pretty uh, self-explanatory. It's just got a toilet, shiz like that. Then we've got the first bedroom for one of the sisters, okay? Uh, I haven't actually locked any of the doors for particular people, so I've got to do that. Uh, so this is one of the sisters' rooms, uh, just a kind of bog-standard one. This is the other sisters' room, slightly bigger, um, but I, I wanted to design them slightly differently. Um, and they use that bathroom. They use that toilet, that bathroom. And of course, anybody else in the house can also use that toilet and bathroom. And then we come to here, we come round here, and there's actually a door here. So we've got a double door here. And I, what I might actually do is, I think that actually counts as one door. So I might have to take that out and put two doors in there and lock one for Danny, one for Zoe. Um, so this is their bedroom, okay? Uh, so they've got a pretty nice bedroom. Oh yeah, there's also a door here to go out to the balcony where we've got another um, another hot tub. Okay, so they've got a nice little balcony out here, nice little hot tub. And I I hope you I hope you like the like the um, little roofs and stuff that I've put on. So there's like a little window there. Like I don't know. Like I, I, this this house to me is a big accomplishment. So if you think it's crap, I think it's great. Uh, so this is their ensuite bathroom. Now I made this really luxurious. Uh, so they got this really luxurious bath. Apparently they got two baths. I've just realized they got two. Holy crap. So they got this one, which is like a jacuzzi and then they've actually got a bath over there. They don't actually have a shower because I didn't really want to put that in there because it didn't look posh enough. Like it would have ruined it. So they got this cool little statue. I was I was actually expecting to see myself in that mirror then. Um, and they got these nice towels. Everything's like warm and golden. And for the first time ever, I have only one little small window in the bathroom. Normally I have these massive great big windows so people can see in. Um, and then this goes through through this door into the gaming dance gaming slash study okay now you might be wondering why is it red walls and then a green wall well the reason why i've got the green wall is because it's behind the computer so it's like a green screen you see how realistic and seriously i take this game um so he's also got a gaming tv so they can sit on the couch with his friends and game and stuff like that He's got his computer there as well, um, which is pretty cool. Right. Now, this is the teenagers area. Now, at first, the reason why this is a separate area is not because I planned it from the very beginning, but because from the start, the house actually ended like here. Or no, the house ended here, actually. It actually ended there. And then I realized, oh, shiz, we need more bedrooms. And I, I just realized I could have actually made the house one one uh, block higher uh, but I didn't do that which was kind of stupid that might have actually been quite cool uh, maybe you can download this from the gallery uh, we'll add it I'll add it to the gallery under Inferno Dan my name on there is Zert 77 I think open gallery yeah Zert 77 so what I'll do is I like I'll upload it to, uh, to to the gallery after after this recording session I'll put to, uh, just search Zert77, it should come up. Uh, okay, so this is the girl's bedroom. She's got a nice glowing mirror. Uh, now, her room was actually really small. I, I, I realised that their rooms were really, really small. Uh, I should have made them slightly bigger. Uh, so this is one of the bedrooms, blue. Uh, and there's also like some posters on the wall. I've given them each tablets as well. I literally had so much cash after selling that old house. Um, and this one I made slightly like browner and to be honest most of these rooms I just went on the pre-made rooms you know the pre-made ones and then you can change the color scheme because I spent so long on this house I just wanted to fill it and then they've got this cool jacuzzi slash bath like spa bath and uh, shower okay 
So, and, th and then this is the pool. Uh, I just made the walls blue and shiz like that. Okay. So, there is this new thing called clubs, okay? Now, I plan on creating a dance club. A dance club. Um, so, for that, we're going to have to make the dance room down here. So, because this episode has just been me showing you the house, I might as well finish the downstairs basement quickly. And then in the next episode, we can actually create our own club and a dance club. Because Danny's always wanted to be a dancer. Uh, I suck at dancing. I actually suck at dancing. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to go to wallpaper first. And if we go to show all and then go to get together is there any like dancing wallpaper here not really not really okay so let's put the floor in first let's put a nice uh wooden do you think wooden that one's quite nice i like that although i'd like it to be a little bit lighter Okay, what we'll do is we'll put in lights first, because light you can't see the colour of stuff till you put in frickin' lights. It's, rid it's ridiculous. Uh, so lighting. Let's just see if there's any cool... So you get, can you get candles with this expansion pack. That's it. Um, okay, so we want really big beaming lights. We want to show... Oh, maybe it's because I wasn't showing all. Okay, so you do actually get quite a lot. Let's see. Ooh, futuristic dance club sign. Okay, well we need that near the entrance. What color? Sh what color scheme should we have it down here? I think we should have it like a bluey color. I really like that blue color. Okay, so we have the dance sign there as you come in. Uh, what other lights can we have? We've got, we don't want these weird street lamps. That's too kind of like. Here we go, rave stage lights, okay, bright biome, okay, well that would be cool to have behind the decks, wouldn't it? Okay, so this is going to be where the, where the DJ goes, I guess, here, so if we have a nice light behind him, in fact we could have, we could have loads of lights behind him, and then have some disco lights. Like so. Or do, you, or do you think that we should have... Oh, I love how I'm like saying, do you think? As if like, you're you're in my ear right now. T telling me. You guys can tell me in the comments anyway. What you what you would have done. In fact, you can download you can download the house. Okay. And design your own party room. And then I'm going to check them all out. Maybe not all on screen. But I will check them out. Okay. So here we go. We've got our light in. And then we're going to have the DJ. So, is it electronics? Here we go. So what one do we want? Lo-fi. We want the most expensive one. Because the most expensive one is always the best one. Quantum Retro. Okay, we're having that. And I think, I think, yeah, we, we probably should have it, like, facing this direction, I think. Well, we could have it kind of in the corner. And then have, like, a bar here, I guess. Like so... that like that so they can get in I hope they can get in there we've got this big wall here as well and then we can have the dance floor here the bar over here that would be pretty cool okay that's snazzy okay so we need to go back to lighting and we need this place to be properly lit now so we could just have these portal of lights around the whole kind of room
like so. Because we want the room to be nice and bright, I think. This area can be a little less bright, like a little bit more moody, because it's the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we need some wallpaper now. We need something jazzy. Something that's going to say to people, this is the party room. This is the party room. Quite party-like. That is quite party-like. Although, what else is there? We could have some, like, dungy brick room. Ooh, we could have it brick, actually, down here. I think we'll have it brick. Very sophisticated. <laughs> okay, and then what we want... I think this floor's okay, but we need a different floor for the dance floor. Okay, so if we go to get together and show all... We don't really want concrete or pebbles. Black bricks. I guess this area over here could be like a different color. Control F, yep. Okay, so that is the that is the DJ zone. Okay, you don't go in there unless you're the DJ. And I'm intrigued to see what you guys create for your for your like party room. Um in this house. You've got to do it in this area, okay? You can't make the room bigger or smaller. You have to do it in this space, okay? I mean, you can extend it if you really, really want, but I want to see you, you, you challenge yourselves in this space, because I actually made this space pretty crap, actually. It's like a really awkward freaking... You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to put this there. Bring this round, like so. And there we go. Bring these around like so. And then what we'll do is we'll make the bathroom, like the toilet bigger. We'll actually make it like a public, a public bathroom. So if we go click that, make that bigger like so. Okay, cool. So this is the DJ zone now. So yeah, you can you can do the same thing that I've done there. You can change that. Let's grab this and just cover that. Okay, and then we want a nice cool dance floor here. We want a bar as well. Uh, activities. Portable bar. Oh, that's got lights as well. Nice. Movers and shakers portable bar. Flaming tahiki bar. That might be quite cool, actually. I think all this was added, actually. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah, we don't want to like a coffee bar down here. I'm thinking we go, we go with the same color scheme. So we'll have the bar over here, like so. What else came with this? Table and chairs, we could have some table and chairs. Oh, that's actually like a game. We could have like a football table down here, but th this is like a, yeah, I guess we could have a football table. We could have like a games machine down. Although this is going to be our dance room. We can have like all this stuff. Like the foosball table and stuff. In a different room in the house I think. Oh that's a nice big bar actually. I like the size of that. Oh. 
Dance floor. They actually have dance floors? No way. Shake and shimmy dance floor. Glow in the funk. Oh my god. We have to have this as the dance floor. Oh, jeez. This is so cool. There's lots of different ones as well. That is actually really cool. I'm going to make it more kind of like centered. And then grab that. Put that like... In fact, I'm going to make the whole floor like that. Because I like the I like that color scheme, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the bar back a little bit, move that along, and move that along. So we have this little gap here. Okay, that looks pretty cool. So we've got our party room. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm not gonna do any more to the party room. We can do that in the future if we want to. And what I'll do is if you guys have got any ideas on what I should add into this room, I'll check out the gallery download this house okay and do your own party room and then i can take inspiration from you guys because this is just a very very simple simple basic one just so we can actually start checking out this new expansion and creating our own dance club so thank you for watching this episode if you have enjoyed it be sure to give it a like and i will see you guys next time what is this? What is going on? <laughs> what is this? Look. Oh, where's... Oh, he needs to go to the toilet. Okay, that's fine.